Star Trek. It's for the theater geeks now, isn't it? I am Mecca. How much of this Star Trek? Look at look at what they did. Look at what they did. <laughs> look, look at look at what they did. They gave me a Discovery. Let's fly. It's a foam hand. It's like the Undertaker one I had when I was like twelve, eleven maybe. <sighs> do they really? <laughs> do you really think that this is is what people? <laughs> We've discussed this. They had meetings for this catchphrase, what Michael Burnham's catchphrase was going to be. This will be a Star Trek Discovery Season 5 official trailer reaction. Oh, yes, it will be. Yes, I did not enjoy the first few seasons of Star Trek. Let's stop and lecture the audience about how bad things are instead of telling us how hopeful and optimistic the future is going to be with smart people in charge. Holy... <laughs> I liked her. I liked Christy Chong. I liked her and that. I liked uh, the, some of the Strange New Worlds stuff. <laughs> some of it. Some of it. Picard feel, felt like season three, as much as people liked it, it really felt to me like it was written by AI, by chat GPT or something. Like they took everything that YouTubers said, like, hey, let's do this and this and this. And then they threw it into an AI algorithm and it spat out season three. Star Trek. Look at what Star Trek is doing. It is, well, well, nothing yet. It's not doing anything yet. You know why? The following video is brought to you through the generous support of viewers like you. If you like this content, then please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And for those who are in the position to donate, this channel thanks you. And so does this orange cat. Star Trek's for the theater geeks now, isn't it? It's just for the people who want to put on this D&D &D cosplay costume of something. And they're not quite into one thing or another thing, so they went as close as they could and went to Star Trek, right? I, I really liked Star Trek when uh, it was on in the 90s. I really, really enjoyed that era of it. Oh, yes, I did. We're going to put on the subtitles and everything even. Here you go. Do I want it now? Is this the def default? Yeah, default's fine. Default. Default. I'm trying to postpone this as much as I can. You know that these are always not super duper fun to watch. Because what do they do? They always do something really weird. Oh, that's the wrong display anyway. I was going to put it full screen for you. Do we care if I put it in? Um, and you know what? No. They gave me this at their thing. And now, okay, where did I get this? The, they had a Super Bowl display at this thing for Paramount CBS that had like screen use costumes. They had, it was actually pretty cool if you, you know, know anything about any of these, these shows on CBS and stuff. They had like a South Park little thing and apparently SpongeBob was a big deal. I've still never seen an episode of that. I know, silly me, huh? Now... I'm just postponing the inevitable. I, I did not like the teaser. It looked very video gamey because, you know, you know, like one of those video games that's just, you know, oh, press A now three times. You know, those prompt, those quick time prompt video games. Yeah, not even like, you know, Terraria or something. It has been a hell of a journey. Yes, it has. Oh, I'm gonna, probably going to stop this and comment because... I don't know. People get mad at me for that. And please comment every time I do that. I like doing that so I don't miss any. Also, what is what is this? The the Wizard of Oz? The castle? Is, it, is this Atlantis? Is this the Emerald City? Why is it? It would be blue. It would be green, not blue like this. Yeah. But everything ends someday. I haven't even seen this. Everything ends someday. Oh, good. This is the final season. The final season of Discovery. The Discovery is my home. It's your I like, we've always been able to find answers together. Oh, wait, is that the lady? Is that the lady? That's the one. Oh, I gotta go back. That's the one that Vulcan he's banging. Saru's still banging the Vulcan. Oh, Saru, you're still banging the Vulcan, aren't you? Oh, that's that explains it. Okay, I am gonna make this a little bit bigger because I I don't know why. He's still <laughs> We've always been able to find answers together. You haven't found answers.
answers to anything. Dr. Ricky came back from the dead. This is a soap opera. I can only enjoy this on this soap opera ridiculousness level. Like, okay, how many times is Michael Burnham going to cry? Or, or you know, perish? Remember that episode, that Groundhog Day episode where he just kept off and over and over again. That was horrible, you know, but so overly dramatic. And it's like they're doing this to make it a soap opera now. Being a part of a crew, being where you need to be, when you need to be, that starts... Oh, Tilly's back. Tilly's back. Tilly's back. I thought they threw her off to the Starfleet to babysit those cadets because she didn't have it in her to babysit the cadets. Yeah, I wouldn't have it in, in, in me to babysit cadets either. Especially if I was Tilly and disrespectful to my captain, I suppose. Yeah, he's, he's giving her direct orders and she's yelling at him and saying, Nuh uh I don't feel like it. That's Starfleet now. That am Starfleet now. It's for, it's for the drama kids. This is Starfleet for drama kids. And it's like Barbie, you know? Barbie is for the women and the gays. That is who Star Trek is for now. The glee crowd. That's why they are so focused on... It's not the DEI. It's not any of that. It's this huge, greater societal collapse all over everything that the only people left are the people who care about the art form and what happens all these ceos and executives this is what i've been covering on the channel when i'm not doing trailer reactions these ceos and executives right they don't even want background characters they want like three people they want to i, I don't know where all the money goes for these productions they don't want to hire anybody lower they don't want to hire and pay writers they want to they want to have a story idea that the ai can generate and then have a script guy come in and punch it up after the fact, and then just pay him a little bit, like some, yo, know, here's here's a couple hundred bucks, go out to dinner on uh, whatever, and and then they don't hire these people, so nobody has actual full time, you know, jobs in Hollywood or Vancouver, or Toronto, or wherever else they're filming in the industry these days. They're all just these gig workers. So you'll see somebody like Raffi from Picard, who who's hired on to do these jobs. And they commit to these series, but what do they do? They 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 take so many years to get another season of these series because what they're made for these streamers. These streamers are iffy at best for profitability. I don't know. They won't show us the numbers now, will they? That was what a lot of the writer strike was about. I'm going a little soapboxy. I just had caffeine. Last hands. I shall follow your lead. Are we last hands, or is she saying last dance? The greatest treasure. Last dance. She's going Donna Summer. Are they going to start singing Disco for Realsies on this? Because this is the SS USS Disco. 1031, Halloween, huh? David Cronenberg. It's more important than you can imagine. Oh, no, they're letting, the, they're, they're letting the Cenobites out. This is a puzzle box. They're just letting the Cenobites out from hell. Look at this. Look at this. This is Star Trek Cenobite puzzle box. Is that a Vulcan, though? Is real, though? No. <laughs> they're letting the Cenobites out. Pinhead's gonna pop out of the thing. We're on a search for one of the greatest powers. Good, they have it coming. Tilly's back. Tilly's really back. <laughs> Ever known. You could be very dangerous in the wrong hands. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are these our crew members or are these other people? Who's this one now? Oh, this are, these are new people. These are new people that they're fighting. Because this is so Marvel movie now. I don't mean that as a compliment. I miss Star Trek. This clue is, is that Spock? Is that a CGI Spock? No, don't do that. Don't freak me out and say that that's this like a letter Nimoy looking CGI Spock. Because they would do that. They would just CGI him, wouldn't they? After, after he's been dead. They would just do that. Just to be like, see, it's canon. See, it's canon. <laughs> don't do that to me. I can't see very well. Don't scare me like that. That's, that's got to be a random Vulcan. That's just a random Vulcan. keep it safe. They would, though, CJ. <laughs> what the crap? Oh, don't do the let's fly. She did the let's fly. She did the let's fly. She did the meme. She did the meme. <laughs> she was less battered and bruised up on The Walking Dead, this poor woman. Oh, this poor woman. You give her no direction. You make her act like a, like a freaking... She doesn't know. <laughs> Is that his badge? Oh. <sighs> Jet Reno. Jet Reno, one of the non-binary non -binary kids, and what is this? Is she going plumbing? Is she going to go, are they going to the dorm to shower? Is she carrying her toothbrush? <laughs> what are they doing? This is how they set up Starfleet Academy, isn't it?
So she's underwater now, jumping like a. Was she Mario? Let's fly. Let's fly. Motorcycle, CGI motorcycle stuff. A giant bug? No. <laughs> Some alien species I don't recall. This is a giant bug monster. Now they're ripping off Starship Troopers again. Again? My crew, the family oh. I found in Starfleet. Uh huh. We made a pretty good team. Well, okay, you're you're these relics of the past, right? This is what happened. They came back from the the pre before TOS, right? Before Captain Pike is on the, or while Captain Pike is on the Enterprise, and they went 900 years in the future to explain a why a way why everything's magic instead of you know canonical Star Trek to not technology of the time, right? So just admit it's a reboot. Please just admit it's a reboot. They won't. I know, I'm watching it anyway. I can't help it. I can't help it. Like, I, I still watch again. I still, I still watch political commentary on YouTube. I can't help it. I'm addicted to that. I'm addicted to being angry at this, I think. I think I'm addicted to be April 4th. Are you kidding me? Star Trek Discovery, new season, April 4th. And let's fly. On Paramount Plus, and that's... <laughs> That's what we're getting. Uh, I I have no idea what the storyline's gonna be other than action, action, shoot 'em up, pew pew. It's another Star Trek pew pew pew, huh? Star Trek pew pew action motorcycle doom buggy pew 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 Star Wars. Yay! Welcome to Star Trek Star Wars. I am Mecca. I'm gonna hide now. We're just we're just gonna. This is your fault, David Cronenberg. It's all your fault, David Cronenberg, and you know it. And you know it. <laughs>